Hello, you are welcome again to another market review for the week ended March 13, 2020. I will tell you this is a serious week in Nigeria stock market and the world at large. The market has been on the down trend for the past one week and this has not happened in the history of this market and the global economy. I will know the factors that are behind this. And not only that, you know that in Nigeria our market has been on the down trend since CBN adjusted the cash reserve ratio from 22.5 to 27.5, which is about 500 points different. That has sent signal to the market that since then, market have been on the down trend. And last week, the market was bleeding. And as a result of what the curve of, or call it either curve 19, according to World Health, or call it a curve coronavirus that has been you know, ravaging the world and not only that it has sent a signal that the world economy is already shaking knowing that china has shown the power of being china why they are the ones supplying a lot of country goods and services now they are sick because that the world has cut good already it tells you the, the power of china and us that is the second largest economy in the world is equally shaking because of all increasing case of you know, the virus spreading you know, within their own territory. And many countries have even closed door to flights coming in or going out. It's a sign that this epidemic is very, very serious and is telling on the market. But for us, I would advise you that investors are already panicking. You have made loss already. And for me, I'll ask you a question at this point. That if you are selling, the person that is speaking, what is he doing? If you remember in his investor data and their past lectures, we only tell you that you stop when the prices are low. When there is blood on the street, you clean the blood. That is why you buy at a low price. If you have lost money already, it doesn't make any investment sense to sell at this point at a good loss. All you need to do is just adjust your what, your waiting period. A lot of companies are review value because what most fundamental science stocks, leaders in different sectors, they are selling below you no, know, they are four years low. I will tell you our market. On, on Thursday, touch 11 years low. It tells you that this is a serious case. For me, I would advise that investors should not panic at this point, but rather let them accumulate what cash to take position when we just cite a recovery move, from cite a support level that will signal what a rebound, a real rebound. For me, don't panic, especially the dividends that are coming this period are good enough you know, for you to hold on as an investor. Hold this dividend for now and wait on the market rebound, then you'll be talking of capital appreciation. But I'm telling you, you can adjust your investment uh, goal. Adjust in your investment goal. Rather than anything you are having now, don't eat everything. Start saving as you are saving, be accumulating those stocks that have good fundamental. I'm telling you, if you are waiting for two to four years or even a year to three years, you are going to make more than 100% return. And no money market instrument or bond will give you such return in this short period of time. For me, equity market still remains the best way you can play. Yes, we know that there will be what we call multiple effect of China you know, going this way. Because many countries that import goods from China, especially their manufacturing sector, will be sick. Because the raw material that they're going to use to produce won't be there. And on that are not going to cause inflation in the whole world, not only Nigeria. Because if the few ones that are producing their price will be high. On that note, we expect that this inflation that we are suffering might even be higher, knowing that we are close border in Nigeria. And you know, another one is that this flesh, um, China not you know, having access to import. And only that, not only import, people are free to import sickness to their into their to their territory. And you can see that people that imported things to, to, from China to Nigeria, it will take them another for 24 days to formulate those goods. And they're going to pay for do more rates. On that, many of them will be discouraged to be poor because when the goods come, they don't allow it to enter trade. They want to formulate, put the that goods as solution for like you no know, 24 days, make sure that the goods, uh, any that come with the goods, die with the goods before they can release the goods to the owner. That alone will frustrate production process. That's why the few goods that will be in the country will likely go high. For me, investors should not panic. Target those sectors in the market that you know that they don't depend more on importation on in their in their production process. And at the same time, those companies know that they have fundamental that when the market rebound, they will know that will lead the rally. These are where you should put your money now. 
I think investors should not just be panicking because the history of Nigeria for market to lose more than 13 percent in a week is serious. I, I told you earlier that this is the world, the eleventh year low of the market of Nigeria stock exchange. If you look at the index, you no know, index movement, I show you that we have not hit eleven years low. It, it tells you that things are not you know, so rosy in the market. But the good thing is that it has provided opportunity for divine invest designing investor and intended investor to take position for what for uptrend. The market will not continue in this direction till the end of the year. I'm telling you between now the end of the uh, second half of the year, we might likely see an uptrend. Uh, uh, now that there is no signs and rumor that the vaccine for the vaccine for the for the coronavirus you know, uh, disease, you know, is the, you know is being developed from different country. If we harness and tested and it become you know effective, I think it will help a lot to control the spread of the virus. Knowing that this is not this is just disease driven bear market. It is not financial driven no no remember in 2008 we had what called financial global meltdown but this is not financial global that means there is still a possibility of the market repandering because many central banks of the world and government are becoming proactive now becoming proactive to they pull measures to, to push measures to control this that alone will go a long way to solve you no know, the to solve the issue of a uh, coronavirus uh, as, as we speak for me our advice that investors should be wise, should be wise in taking the decision there's no need for you to panic just buy wisely and at the end you smile to the banks all you don't need to do is that take a wise decision don't buy any hard stock now look for the leaders in different sector that has fundamental that know the potential is strong key in them even at this low price it is time for you to stop even when you are bought high you are made loss keep cash once you are you, you signal a, 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 a reversal sign a rebound buy at a low price you have break down your cost and that will you know, put you down so that when you move small you already what in profit don't panic at all don't sell your stock at this point after you have lost more than 20 percent i will say it unless there's other information you are seeing that company that the company will not come up again you can say but any company that you know that you are having has been fundamental that lost 20 percent you don't need to panic at or you need to change your investment or no go and your investment horizon if you are thinking to you stay there six months again you can extend it to one year to two years that's only what you want to do i know that yes it is not easy when market is going down like this everybody is panicking but for traders this is not a time of our market i know that you are like me that trade but we will survive let's take our dividend and watch that when the market bounce back we will also be smiling back to the bank oh don't do let us invest wisely when we start seeing sign for trading we'll let you know but for those in buy and sell signal i still tell you that those stocks we can enter for long term for long term and uh, for medium we'll still also you know, put the signal tomorrow but we are telling you, if you are buying no stock at this point, we have not really identified a rebound. You buy it in stages. Don't put your money once in a stock. If you have one million to buy a stock, don't buy that one million naira worth once. You can buy it three hundred first and keep seven hundred. When you see the market will run, you now buy. That's why I say you buy what in stages. Don't rush with your one million and buy the stock. And tomorrow the stock will go down again. It will be very bad. Buy it and when it goes down tomorrow, you know that you have cash to average again. I know that that company you are buying there is potential. Like I said earlier. Past performance cannot give you future direction. All you don't need to do, look at the company's strength, the trend, the industry, and how they are going to be. We are going to be in the next five to ten years. That should be what should guide you now. Don't say because the company past performance was good, that is enough for you to jump. No. Look at the area the company is operating and where they are going, putting technology constructing technology and see the impact that will have on their bottom line and their earning capacity will improve. I'm telling you there's a lot of potential for upside of the market for many companies. All you don't need to do, just take a wise investment decision and that will go a long way you know, to guide to guide you. I know that if you have any question on this market, feel free to call us on our normal lines and the you know, emails, contact us and we'll give you more insight on how to go in this video. Don't panic, I'll call it that this is an opportunity and I call it I tell you what I call it a transfer of wealth. Those that are have money now and those that are bought earlier at 20 naira, and if you are buying those stock now, when the man that bought at 20 naira, you that bought at 11, 12 is making money at, at seven at 15, 15. The guy that bought 20 will also be waiting, but if the guy that average down and his price also is around that 14, when it's at 15, he also he will also be smiling, he also in profit. Oh, we don't need that. Let's just change our investment uh, 
mm, strategy and also our goals also should guide us a man that you know that you are at the age of 70 30 or um, sorry age of 70 60 and you have a few years to retire know how you play equity for young men like us that know yes we can still take this we can buy more stuff but if you know you are retiring i think you do less of stock when you are about to you know to to retire you do a, enough of portfolio planning and for young men you need to save more now and accumulate but this is how you can catapult yourself to become billionaire i'm telling you if you have 100 million now you able to take position in the next two or three years that of 100 million can become 400 or 500 million but you are becoming billionaire already before you know it all you don't need to take wise investment decision and also learn how to save no matter what comes to your hand this is the time for you to accumulate always send money to what to accumulate like other people you can be buying stages if you good stock that you know you can see many stocks are falling you can look at the price of nestle today look at the price of union bank gtb you know the uh, cement look at uh, 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 what's called what cement cement. You no know, look at all of them what they are selling look at the price of uh, Judas Beggar, look at you no know, a lot of companies their price at uba assets bank they are made they are selling at a discount you need to take one decision now and accumulate don't mind whether the 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 pfs are taking advantage of the opportunity cbn have done excellently well for this market by keeping interest rate low i know that anywhere that interest rate is low one it will support the economic expansion and growth at the same time it supports capital market performance because when this interest rate is low people want to look away from money market and look for where there is higher return and you know that when interest rates low the high return will always come from equity market and now that in nigeria reverse is the case that people are not looking the way of equity market i don't blame them it's a result of what the confidence they have about the regulators of the capital market the activities of the regulators the operators and at the same time government policy has kept people you know confident on shaking lane but i believe that with time we will find direction and that you and i will also smile to the bank thank you we'll see you again i tell us earlier that any information you need sent to us we'll get back to you thank you and god bless you Thank you.